Israel's war cabinet is set to meet for the third time in three days to decide its response to Iran's drone and missile attack. Saudi Arabia is the latest country to call for a de-escalation of tensions. An Israeli drone strike has killed a Hezbollah operative in South Lebanon and Israel insists it will not be rushed into a decision on how to retaliate. We cannot stand still from this kind of aggression. Iran will not get scot-free with this aggression. Admiral, when will you strike back? Firing 110 ballistic missiles directly to Israel will not get scot-free. We will respond in our time, in our place, in the way that we will choose. The Israeli military have put an intercepted missile on display at a base near Ashdod. Dominic Waghorn has more. This is the fuel tank from an EMAD, Iranian EMAD ballistic missile. Um, the fuel tank is 11 metres alone, but before it was intercepted, there would have been an engine down the end, a metre or two uh, long, and then at the other end of the missile, there would have been a warhead, about the size of a small car, packed with half a tonnes of explosives. As one Israeli officer said to us earlier, when he saw pictures of this on the internet, as we all did, he thought it was fake news, and it is really sobering standing next to this. It gives a very clear and powerful sense, graphically, of the threat posed by Iran's missile on more than 100 of these uh, ballistic missiles were fired and over 300 projectiles of different forms, drones, ballistic and, and cruise missiles all fired at Israel, all brought down apart from a small number, we're told. Now, the Israeli uh, military spokesman earlier when he showed this to us said that Iran's attack uh, cannot go unpunished. And the question now is how uh, they uh, deal with that. How do they retaliate? They clearly plan to in some shape or form without escalating matters even further. Because the other thought as you stand here is what happens if things escalate into a much bigger regional conflict and we have even more of these things flying around the Middle East. Uh, it's a thought that I think is chilling minds, particularly in uh, the minds of uh, Western allies of Israel and obviously focusing the minds of the Israeli government and military as they wrestle with the decision as to what they do next.